yes, that is in fact a bagel floating through space. You're probably wondering, how did it get here? The answer lies in Montreal, Canada. Where a bagel war has been raging between two shops. Fairmount Bagel. Our bagel are the best bagel that anybody could ever eat. And San Viator. Obviously, I, I know that my bagels are better. If your grandfather came in here and bought a bagel from my grandfather, you would be eating the same bagel that he ate 100 years ago. They always claim that the father, the grandfather, uh, they used to be my customers. See, the Great Bagel War of Montreal was at a stalemate until one shop took things to another level. Our cousin got into the astronaut program and NASA called us and said, there's a dozen and a half Fairmount Bagel up on the space shuttle. Fairmount Bagel may have won the space race, but real Montrealers will tell you the bagel war is just heating up. If I had a cousin with the space, he would have taken my bagels too. Look, we're not here to crown a champ, but if their bagels tell us anything, it's that Canadians are serious about food. Sometimes the best things are found in the most unexpected of places. And when it comes to food, sure, people know Italian. And they know French. But if you search Canadian food, you'd think it's just maple syrup, Canadian bacon, and poutine. But is it more than that? Maybe something happens when so many cultures and traditions collide with world-class local ingredients. Maybe Canadian food is just misunderstood. So let's start with a dish you think you know. Poutine. Jean-Christophe, tell the people about poutine. A bit of cheese, like question. Really? My script here just says fries, cheese, curds, and gravy. Bon, premièrement. My French is a little rusty, but did he say they serve over 30 kinds of poutine here? Traditionnel, frites, fromage, avec le gravy. Tout le monde a sa petite recette. Les gens peuvent vraiment acheter, faire leur poutine parfaite, puis la personnaliser. Ainsi, on laisse vraiment l'équipe aller avec leur créativité ici. Sculptors have marble. Painters have canvas. Cooks up here have fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Or. If you happen to be in Vancouver, rice, seaweed, and raw fish. Allow me to introduce Chef Hidekazu Tojo. I invented this, uh, I call it Tojo roll, but the people call California roll. The California roll? California roll, I invented in 1974. So how did the California roll come to be invented in Canada? People don't like the seaweed. Uh, no, 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 no. Then I have a good idea. Seaweed, just only inside out. I make my style, not Japanese style. Traditional is good, but we need open mind. And open minds he did. The California roll. I call it Tojo roll. Oh, sorry, the Tojo roll went global. Enjoy my walk. Taking a dish and flipping it on its head? Is that a Tojo thing or a Canadian thing? To find out, let's meet two of Canada's best and brightest. No, not these two. These two, founders of Pearl Morissette, one of Canada's best restaurants. As a Canadian cook, you know, if you wanted to be a chef one day, you need to earn your stripes over in Europe. They were doing things totally different over there, and it was really eye-opening for that. What these guys won't tell you, in Europe, they were rock stars. They could have opened a restaurant anywhere. So why did they choose Niagara, Canada? The more time I spent overseas, I started realizing that we can grow products that are better than that in our own backyard here. This pocket of Canada is one of the most biodiverse regions in the world. True story. We work backwards from farmers. 
When the farmer comes in with something, that's where the dish ideas come from. That's how the menu gets formed. We use ingredients that probably seem novel, but the quality is always extremely high. I've now replaced vanilla with sweet grass, prickly ash instead of lemon. We're not rooted in a food culture. We're not doing exclusively French food or Japanese food. There's no roadmap for it. That's a really exciting thing to me. There's nothing that is traditional. I want to take the restaurant further. I want to see that we can break onto the world stage, championing Canadian ingredients. I'd be so happy to see that. The world is full of great food destinations. You know, the ones you visit just to eat. But don't sleep on Canada. Seems like a place where all that great food is free to redefine itself. If you just stick with what you know, you miss out on everything else.